check out the new Lexus SC500. Well, it can't be more than a week or two old. Here's my latest painting that I did a couple of days ago. I think it's funny how, it, how it's uh, it's such a different color if you look at it. Uh, depending what, on what time of day you look at it. Now it looks kind of more bluish and it, in the morning it looks more turquoise. Use these tools right here. So we have the brushes and then some of these. I love to paint with these knives. It's a lot of fun. And I also like my assistant down here. Good morning, Rosie. Ah, yarn. So for a long time, I've been wanting to record my voice when I go on motorcycle rides, but the problem has always been the mic and the wind noise. So <laughs> I've been trying to solve it with a few different uh, uh, dead cats, as, as, as they call them, which is like a fur ball, which you put on top of the mic. But uh, that didn't work because I had it on the inside of my t-shirt when I was riding. It still didn't work. So what I've been doing right now. So here is the helmet. So as you can see, it's an open face helmet. I just had the visor on there like that. And uh, what I did last night was I took my dead cat thing, which is this fur ball right here. And I just opened this up and just planted it in there. So. I'm thinking if if that makes wind noise in there, then uh, you know I don't know what else to do. But then the cord just goes out from the ear there, and then it just plugs into your phone. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go out and test this for the first time. So hopefully it's gonna work. There we go. So, since the uh, mic experiment didn't really work out, I guess uh, we can go ahead and do some sketching instead. But you know what? I'm gonna keep trying with the mic. It was just one failure. And uh, you know how it is. The more times you fail, the closer you are to success. Right? You know that. I know you know that. She knows it. She definitely knows the rate of failure increases your chances of success. So, I found, I found my old my old tablet here under some old dusty moldy blankets in the closet so uh, fired up Photoshop I haven't used this uh, tablet in a long time so it's gonna be interesting to see how this is going to go uh, I'm just gonna take you along on this sketch session if if of course my cat uh, will leave me alone hey Will you leave me alone for uh, half an hour or so? All right. Cool. It doesn't look like she wants to leave me alone though. Hey. What is it? What is it? What is it? I'm sorry, but I have to do this video, friend. So, as I said, I'm just gonna take, bring you, have you tag along on my uh, uh, experiment here. Second experiment for the day, I guess since uh, the first one didn't really work out. Hopefully this will work out a little bit better. So I like to always keep uh, the background gray or have some shade to it. It doesn't have to be gray, it can be whatever we want. Let's do some brown shade. Uh, there we go, sweet. Uh, just because it's, that means that I can use both black and white when it comes to uh, shading. Otherwise, if I have a white background, I can't use white as highlight because the background is already white, if that makes sense. Uh, so, I don't know. Let's just uh, get a feel for this first. Ooh, it's rusty. Rusty for show. Try to connect these. Man, this is, this is way harder than I remember it to be. It feels weird to sketching on, the, on a tablet again because I'm not looking where I'm sketching. And I guess it takes some uh, getting used to. Ah, shit. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. I guess. Cool, 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 cool. Let's see if we can make some. Uh... Oh my god, sketching wheels are so difficult with this thing. I'm gonna make some lines and then I'm gonna mm, go into uh, air, airbrush 
and just fill them in. I show you uh, the glossy surfaces and how to make matte surfaces and what what's the difference between them. I think Photoshop has uh, the templates for a reason here. So if I want, I can just go ahead and do this and do some and, and cheat a little bit. But bam, there we go. Look at that perfect circle. But it just doesn't look as good as if it were was sketched, in my opinion. Even though it's not perfect, I still like the sketchiness better. Well, let's just keep those there for now. So the reason why I want to have a, a what's it called, a colored background is because now, when we go into shading of these things. Hi again, Rosie. I'm still not ready though. I'm not done. Hey. Rosie. Then we just make this like that. Just use a normal airbrush. And then we're gonna, obviously in a new layer here, a separate layer. So then we want to define the shape of this by just erasing the excess that we don't need. Very simple like that. And Rosie seems to be very fascinated with this. Isn't this cool, Rosie? Looks super ugly, I know, but uh, we're getting there. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, same thing, let's make a new layer. And this time we're gonna switch it to white. So we have the light source coming from the top here. Uh, so let's just make this white like that. Very, very basic, basic uh, way of shading is uh, use a shaded background. And then all you have to do is use black and white. Yep, that's right, black and white to uh, add some values to these things. I'm gonna go into airbrush eraser. Just make some more def defining shading here. Maybe go back to the black. Do some light touch-ups here. So I'm not sketching anything in uh, anything in s particular <laughs> in uh, particular here. It's just a random shape. Just this video is uh, essentially just me getting used to the marker or the uh, tablet again because it's been such a long time. So this is what we would do if we have a matte surface, okay? Uh, let's see what this is. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. I want the pressurized one, that one. Perfect. What we can do from here is to go in and do some uh, line weight, just as we, as, as we would a regular paper, pen and paper sketch. And that's going to give you some depth to this, uh, to this um, sketch. And it's so much... I honestly think, I used to think Photoshop was so much easier than pen and paper, but then when you haven't done it for a, a year almost, then it becomes super hard. And all of this would be so easy on pen and paper, but right now I'm having issues with it. And if I were to make this, this, uh, this thing uh, glossy, all I have to do is make another layer Glossiness means that we need to have some some uh, uh, some hard reflections in there, not this smooth gradient from from uh, dark to white. So all you gotta do, to if you want quickly just to visualize uh, a glossy surface from matte, is to just add a few lines in here. Well, you gotta be able to sketch lines first of all, and not mess mess everything up. Let's do this one instead, I think, yep. Yeah. 
This is an, you know, so like that, and then we go back to the uh, airbrush eraser and just start to erase the excess as always. And I talk a lot more about this in uh, my uh, course, Photoshop Design, which by the way, if you want to grab Analog Designer Pro Pack right now, it's 92% off. I'm going to add the link in the description if you want to check that out uh, with analog stuff. Marker Madness is in there, design sketching blueprint and perspective sketching made easy. So check that out. It's great value for uh, 67 bucks, which it is uh, priced at right now. And we're gonna increase that because we're gonna add a lot more stuff into the members area next week. So if you wanna get it for 92% off, you might wanna grab it right now. So what I'm doing right now, I'm adding some glossy stuff to this uh, uh, object and as you can see this is matte and then we just added a few strokes and we made it glossy that's all you need to do basically to to uh, visualize something glossy and now I'm having too much fun here <laughs> so let's see what we can do I just want to I just want to keep rendering this thing even though it looks not the not the not the best sketch I've I've done in my life. Or what do you think, Rosie? Are you fascinated? I think she's fascinated by the sketch, so that that's always a positive. Ah, uh, let's add some darkness up here. There we go. Interesting, interesting. Uh, I do want to add some thickness too. Uh, to the bottom of the front of this because I think it looks too thin there. Uh, right up here. Let's just zoom in and make it easy for ourselves. Rotate the paper and add some thickness to this. What do you prefer to sketch in? Do you use Photoshop or do you uh, use... Uh, what's the other one? Sketchbook Pro. I used to use Sketchbook Pro a lot myself because I really liked the way it felt sketching when I was, uh, you know, all digital sketching. Um, because I really liked the way the, the smooth smoothness of the lines in that software. But let me know what you what you prefer and why. I might have to. Uh, I don't think I have Sketchbook anymore. On my comp at least not on this computer. I have it on my laptop, but not here. Uh, what else do we want to do? I think that's basically the essentials of. Uh, I think I got my, you know, f digital fix here, and I'm I'm ready to do something bigger in Photoshop now. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add some uh, stuff not to analog designer pro pack which i was talking about but hey you can't walk on the keyboard kitty come on but this was a warm-up to uh doing some more of the cloud sketching techniques that i'm talking about in some of my um, of my courses and we're gonna expand on that concept and sketch different products using those techniques and again, if you want to check out Analog Designer Pro Pack and what people have to say about the courses, uh, check out the link in the description. Just adding some line weight now. I think I'm not gonna, uh, you know, go any further with this. Maybe add, add some. So I think that was the uh, essentials of what I wanted to to do. Uh, right now, which which was basically just get back into digital sketching because I'm gonna update the course material. Uh, I think I'm gonna do it next week, maybe uh, earlier. We'll 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 see. But uh, I want to expand on the cloud sketching concept and talk a bit more about that because uh, I know it's helping a lot of people and it's a really really effective way of sketching. Simple as that. Uh, and I realize it's not only me that it works for, it works for pretty much anyone that wants to try it out. And if you want to learn more about it, again, just check out Analog Designer Pro Pack. Do it right now before we increase the price, 
which will happen when we update the course. Let's just add something really fast to the to the car as well. Let's see. Actually, making wheels in Photoshop is just simple as this. Make your brush as big as the, you want the wheel to be. And then BAM! There we go. Look at that. Two second wheels. I like it. That line. And then I, what I would do here is pick a uh, white pressurized brush. And I would not erase my lines. I would just emphasize the outline with the, with a white highlight like this. Something like that. And then we can make this bigger. Just fill out the bottom of the wheels. Switch back to black. There are a few tricks like this that just speed up the process of sketching, which I love. Uh, if we want, we could go in and do airbrush and all that, all the good stuff, but I'm not gonna do that today. Uh, just having some fun here. Oh, there we go. We have the two, two weird sketches. Uh, that's great. We did our daily sketch. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. If you have any questions about this, just let me know in the comments and I will try to uh, try to answer them for you if I can. I think this is too white, by the way. So let's just reduce the, the, the white in there. There we go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out Analog Designer Pro Pack in the description below and I will see you next time. Take it easy, guys.